Okay, so I've got another Photoshop tutorial for you today, and this is all going to be done in, in CS6. I don't know if this will work in older versions of Photoshop. It might, um, but I'm pretty sure you can you can do a majority of, of these effects. So what we're going to do today is create kind of a Gatsby style effect, and this is the uh, the poster that just released for the movie coming out, and it's got this really cool Art Deco style. Uh, it's kind of like gold leaf or brass uh, around it and the uh, the title text or headline text right in the middle. So it's kind of a, a neat effect and I'm going to show you how to do something similar and we'll see what we can do. So let's create a new document, file, new, and I'm going to create a 1920 by 1080 document at 72 dpi or 72 pixels per inch for the resolution and click OK. And let's go ahead and turn the background uh, black so go ahead and if you have, depending on what, um, if your foreground or background color is chosen, I'm always pressing control delete on a PC to fill with the background color. I've been, I've got that, that my fingers are used to that keystroke for the last decade. So <laughs> that's why I always, I always uh, resort back to control delete as a shortcut to fill with the background color. So let's go ahead and go ahead and get some guides ready. Cause we're going to, we're going to work on the text, get the text set up first. So view, new guide, the vertical, set that at 50%. And then again, view, new guide, and the horizontal, set that at 50% for the orientation. And you don't have to go in this order, go in the other order. <laughs> now let's go ahead and get our, our text out here on the canvas. I'm going to go ahead and I picked up a font at a, um, it's a free font. The link is in the description below called Broad Bay and it has that art deco look so I'm gonna punch in Gatsby and I gotta fix the uh, the kerning here or the space in between the letters so let me just fix this up a little bit tighten up that B and that Y basically you want to use any font that is is on the bolder side um, kind of wider so you can use uh, anything that's that's got a bold or heavy version of it seems to work pretty well um, and if you're trying to get that art deco style all the way through then more of an art deco font would be kind of cool uh, but I've, I've tried fonts like Futura um, heavy or Futura bold which looked really nice so you can use whatever you want so we've got our text laid out here and what we want to do is make a copy of this text so press control J to make a, a, a copy of that layer and let me toggle this off real quick so you can just see the bottom copy of the text. I don't know if this is in older versions of Photoshop, but in CS6 you can right click and you can go to convert to shape. Now what this did was created the, the it, it took the font and turned it into a shape so you can't edit the font anymore, but it'll give us a, um, a much sharper outline. And the way to do that is to simply select your shape tool and it'll bring up these options. Up, up at the top here. So for fill, uh, we want to set that to none. And for stroke, let's go ahead and, and set the stroke to white. And then for stroke options, we want to set the alignment to outside. You'll see that there's these three little boxes. This is, this is inside, center, and outside. So let's go ahead and set this one to outside. And then we're going to turn the stroke up a bit. And this stroke down the line is what we're going to turn into kind of a gold outline. But we want to save our original text because that's going to be a brighter uh, inside to the, to the text. So there we go. So now that we have our text set up for now, we need to start working in one of these corners to create our, uh, our Art Deco um, design and this is a, a kind of simplified way to do it what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna create in one corner and then we're gonna duplicate it and it's gonna save us a lot of time and still look pretty cool because we don't have to go into each individual corner and uh, and basically do the same thing so <laughs> let's go ahead and start in in the first corner and let's go ahead and bring the poster back up so I can show you one little uh, detail that we're gonna try and get here so if you notice some of these uh, pieces of metal here are more in the foreground than others. See how it's casting a shadow? There we go. If I zoom in, it's casting a shadow here and here as well as here. So there's a, a piece of this that's in the background and this part is more in the foreground. So 
we're going to work on creating a foreground piece first and then create this little background piece. And you'll notice another big difference here on the poster is that the foreground, the 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 metal is is a much wider um, piece of metal while in the background they're much more narrow lines and also the foreground seems to only have 90 degree angles and the background starts to pull in 45 degree angles so we want to kind of mimic that and we're just going to basically build our foreground and our background piece and then I'm going to show you how to to replicate everything so one method to do in this is just using your rectangular marquee tool now I'm going to go ahead and use this to show you this method and then I'll switch over to the shape tool for the 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 background method so let's create a new layer above everything and let's create let's just kind of uh, pull out a selection here that's gonna be one of our starting lines so I'm just gonna create a shape like this and I'm gonna fill it with white control delete for background and let's just kind of move this into place and we're just gonna kind of uh, this isn't gonna be exactly like the poster but we're just gonna create something very similar so I'm gonna put that part right about there press control J to create a duplicate copy and let's do something kind of like this to kind of corner off an area so I'm press control J again and I'm gonna to go to edit transform rotate 90 degrees now there's no real scientific method to doing this just have fun with it and kind of make your shapes as you go so you see I have a lot of overlap here so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the overlap here and you want to make sure all your corners are very sharp so make sure you're zoomed in at least to 100 percent and in uh, pixel perfect sure shows in this pay attention to detail you want all your corners to be really sharp so i'm just going to hold shift and select all these layers that i just made and press Control e to merge them so you see i kind of have this first corner here and just to kind of make it easier i'm press Control j to make a copy of that I'm just going to kind of move it into place. Now, again, I can't stress this enough. Just have fun with it. Just kind of move it around until you you like uh, what it's looking like, and it doesn't have to be exact. You're just trying to get that kind of Art Deco style. So I kind of like that. So let's go ahead and create some more narrow pieces too. So I'm going to create a new layer, and I've got my rectangular selection tool again, and I'm just going to drag out another kind of line. This one's a little more narrow, just like that, and I'm going to fill that again kind of same method I'm just gonna create another layer control J and move that piece in place and I'm creating kind of like an inner um, effect here so control J again let's drag it up here so we can see it edit transform rotate 90 degrees so we're doing the same thing and we just kind of made an inner um, kind of shape here so I'm gonna get rid of the excess and if you like what you got going, you can just go ahead and start merging all those shapes together. Now, you don't want to merge the, the text together, but uh, if you like how this is looking, we can just kind of give this a little, little nudge that a bit. Another little detail that they have in this poster that you'll see is, if I can find it, it may not be in this one. Oh, here you can kind of see it on the edge. It's kind of got this diamond shape. Um, it's more apparent in other posters that have come out for this movie um, but we're gonna kinda mimic this diamond shape as well so in our original document here let's create a new layer and I'll show you as I do this so let's go ahead and, and drag out kind of a new a much shorter rectangular shape kinda like that and then we need kind of a diamond so I'm gonna zoom in I'm gonna use my polygon selection tool and I'm just gonna create a triangle new layer and I'm gonna fill that now what we want to do is make sure that this triangle is very precise so let's go ahead and use our selection tool and get rid of half of it and then let's move it into place here kind of how we want it alright so we want to make sure uh, that we have a sharp edge and we don't really want the triangle to, to jet out too far so let me show you how to so kind of just get a nice diamond shape kind of like so alright so now I'm just gonna press control J to duplicate it edit transform 
flip horizontal and we now have kind of a, a much more perfect triangle so I'm gonna kinda of shave this out a little bit again again this is uh, this is just there's no correct method to it it's just whatever you like and just kinda of center that up a little bit and make this a little bit shorter kinda of like so So I think that'll work for now. It's an interesting shape. <laughs> so I think in the uh, in the poster though, the the they're a bit longer or taller. So you can just kind of get it right. I'm press Control T and kind of give it a little more height and do something like that. All right. So let's make a duplicate of that. So Control J. But this time let's go to Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical, and I'm holding Shift and just kind of dragging it upwards until I feel like it's kind of in the right place. We have the exact, um, or pretty close to the exact on top and bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold shift and select those layers and press control E to merge them. All right. So now we got kind of our, our, our pattern going. I'm press control J again, and I'm simply just gonna kind of drag it up. Control E. And let's do it one more time. Control J, hold shift and drag. So you drag straight and press E to merge those together. So now we have this kind of cool shape. And you can move it into place wherever you seem fit. And, and I'm going to kind of move it right here. Notice that I've got the middle of the diamond right on my, my uh, guide here. And I'm going to make another copy. Control J. But this time I'm going to edit, transform rotate and I'll move this one maybe down here maybe something like that okay so you might want to press control J again and just create a copy to have in your back pocket so I'm gonna to toggle that off for now because you never know you might want to keep reusing that so this this top one is a little bit longer than I needed so I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda of get rid of this and I'm gonna go ahead and merge all of these together all right and we're getting getting close to getting to being done with our, our first foreground piece. So now I'm going to switch to the shape tool and I'm going to make sure that the fill is set to white. I don't think that is where is it at? It's that one. Okay. And the weight, I'm going to set it to 10 pixels. So now you can just kind of start drawing in some extra shapes and just kind of go wherever wherever seems to make sense, wherever you you like what's happening. And if you hold shift, you can always drag, see, you'll, you'll always drag at a 90 or 45 degree angle. So it makes life a lot easier when doing this. And I'm just going to kind of drag out some more shapes. To get that Art Deco look. And you can keep going. If you got this down, feel free to, to fast forward a little bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and merge all of this together. So now we have our one of our corners built. So we don't need this top bit, this overlapping bit. So I'm going to go ahead and use my rectangular marquee tool. And I'm just going to select that area. And I'm going to make sure that it's right on the guide and just simply delete it. And let's zoom out so we can see what we're doing here. So I'm going to hide the guides for a minute, control, semicolon. And now I'm going to select our corner here, and I'm just going to right click and select layer via copy. Now if you go to put it on your, your arrow tool, edit, transform, flip vertical. And this is where easy mode comes into play. Just kind of nudge this into place. And it should all line up if you if you copied it just correctly. It should be right pixel perfect at the edge. There you go. And control E to go ahead and merge those two together. Now let's press Control J again, but this time we're going to go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal, and let's go ahead and hold Shift and drag it to the right. And you want to zoom into your the right side as much as you can. And then using your, your arrow keys, just kind of nudge it, just keep 
pixeling it over until you see it hit that edge of your document. When you're there, press Control E. There you go. We've got the foreground pieces done. So we've just hit the 15 minute mark. I'm going to call this part one and we're going to start up our part two and finish this thing off.